I'm Elaine Penner and I'm cooking. Today we're going to be doing macaroni and cheese and you're going to really like this recipe. It's really very good. I want to give you some tips on macaroni though. Take a look at this. You see that macaroni? That is the same size originally when you buy it in the box. This is after you cook it. You see the different size, how much that, how much that expands? Now, I want to tell you something about macaroni. When you cook your macaroni, make sure the water's boiling. Make sure you have enough water on it to boil, first of all, okay? Put about a teaspoon of salt in the water and about a tablespoon of olive oil in the water. That helps it also, okay? Now, when it's just about done, or when it's done, however you want to do dente, you drain it. Do rinse your macaroni. I use whole wheat macaroni, so if you don't use that, that's fine, but I use whole wheat. Now, after you drain it, I want you to do something. I want you to let it sit in lukewarm water for about, mm, about two hours after you do that, after you rinse it off. The reason is it's going to expand and look like that. All this macaroni that you see here is a half a box, I mean a half of a 16 ounce 16 ounce box, which is one pound, eight ounces of macaroni, made all that. This is an eight by 11 pan, glass pan that I have this in. So you don't need a whole lot of macaroni to make a, you know, macaroni and cheese. This expands, if you haven't expanded your macaroni before uh, you put it in the oven and you're eating it, it's expanding more in your stomach, which makes you meat even fuller and puts on the more calories, okay? So it'll be creamier, It'll be nicer looking, and you have a nice full uh, thing of macaroni, a nice full uh, pan of macaroni, and it looks really good. Now, the first thing I did with my macaroni, after I let it set for a while, and I, I not only let it set, but I let it expand, I, I drained it real good, drained it really good after you do that, okay? Let it sit in the drain. And you can do this when you're, you're home getting ready before you go to bed. You can let this sit overnight. I drained mine and put it in the, in the pan like this, covered with some wax, not wax paper, but um, what do you call that, cellophane paper? What is that? Cling, whatever it is, you know, paper. You put it in there so it clings to the bowl, put it in the refrigerator, and it'll stay. It's just, see, look at this. It didn't clink up at all. It stayed nice, right? So you do that. Now, I have my, this is four cups of milk. I use lactate milk because it's a, a gassy. So... That's not gassy. Lactate milk is, you know, what I forget. And I also use a can of carnation milk. Carnation milk is very, very good. It's a more richer flavor, and you don't have to worry about going to the bathroom so often if you use a whole can of that in there. You'd be running, honey, you have your shirt tail or not. We don't want to do that. All right? So I put them two together, and I'm going to tell you another secret about cooking. What is a cook's favorite? It is food coloring. I took about, oh, about a quarter of a teaspoon of food coloring and put it in the milk. How do you think that macaroni and cheese gets so yellow? It's, it's, it's not like that naturally. They put food coloring in it. So one-fourth teaspoon food coloring in the milk, and that's fine. Then I put in two, don't forget I use uh, reduced salt, you know, 33% less salt, sodium. That I use. I put two tablespoons, two tablespoons of salt in there. Stir it around. Now, you want to taste it. You want to taste that to make sure you got the, you know, the flavoring right. Because don't forget, macaroni absorbs. So it's not, you don't want it briny, but at the same time, you want to have enough salt in it so when it soaks up, it's going to taste good. So you taste a little bit, and that's just right for me. That's two tablespoons of low sodium salt in there. I put a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of white pepper in there also, okay? Now here are my eggs. Remember what I told you the eggs? I broke that when mom was taking that, 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 that thing off. Ugh, I can't stand that. Make sure your eggs are clear. Make sure that they're clear. Don't have, don't get cloudy eggs. Make sure your eggs are fresh. Try to get them at least a month out. I bought these eggs on the 19th. The expiration date is December 22nd. So that's a good time I see your eggs, you know they're, they're fresh. Now, what I'm gonna do is put my eggs, I'm gonna mix my eggs up here, right? Break the yolk. It's easier to mix once you break the yolk up. Break up your yolk and mix your eggs. I'm going to pour it in here, in the milk. Finish beating it. 
that's nice. Now with that, um, with the food coloring in it and the yolks, look at that. That's a nice color. That's a nice yellow color there. That looks really great. Now I'm going to take this. I'm going to pour it over the macaroni. You don't need nothing else. You got salt, a little white pepper. That's all you need in there. And the eggs. Your cheese is going to do the rest. So you pour this in there. If you have a little bit too much, don't worry about it. If you don't have enough, you can always add. Look at that. That looks great. Make sure that your, this is covering. Make sure that's covering, okay? You want to make sure that's covering your macaroni. Then you take your cheese. This is sharp cheese and extra sharp cheese, mixed. I put one eight ounce of each. One extra sharp, one sharp. Take this and put it in there. Put it on there, just put it on there. Put it on there just like that. Sprinkle it on. And we're going to fold this in. We're not going to leave this cheese sitting up there like a, I don't know what. You fold your cheese inside because you want the cheese, whenever you get a scoop out, you want some cheese in every, every uh, scoop. You don't want the cheese sitting on top of the macaroni. That's ridiculous. So you fold it in and make sure, once you fold it in, yeah, I'm going to fold it in. Look at this. Fold it in just like that. Fold it in. So when your egg, when it starts to cook, after it's done, you get when you scoop up your macaroni, you have some cheese in every bite. You don't, you know, you don't want no cheese just sitting on top like that. That's ridiculous. So you you fold it in real good. See how I'm folding it in? Just fold it in. Fold it in. I like whole wheat uh, stuff because it's just more healthier for you. I try to eat healthier to a degree. I really do. I like. I sometimes I cheat. Sometimes I cheat. You know, everybody cheats every once in a while. And this is the holiday, so you know you're gonna cheat sometime. So you cheat a little bit with that, but for the most part. You go ahead and, uh, you know, put your cheese in there. You want to have enough cheese in your macaroni and cheese. I mean, it's macaroni and cheese. All right, so get it nice and full. And what else makes it rich also is your butter. I'm going to show you what to do with that so you, it comes out nice and creamy, too. That, um, that milk, this, this carnation milk, has a nice flavoring to it. It makes it nice and uh, creamy also, that milk. Gives a nice flavor, the carnation milk. It really is good. So now you don't want, what you don't try to do, you don't want your macaroni sitting up high out of the, the milk. Because when it starts to cook, it's going to burn. And you'll be in there picking out macaroni. So you try to uh, keep your macaroni level. You see that? Try to keep it level with the, with the milk. Pat it in there if you have to. If you don't feel you have enough cheese, put some more cheese in there. You want macaroni and cheese. You don't want the thing just sitting there. Nobody enjoys it. You want to enjoy your food. It's the holidays you enjoy. You only have a, a, a couple of holidays that come up like this every year. Every other time you're dieting and trying to watch this and watch that. Well, this is a time you just, you know, you don't do this every day, but at the same time, you have, you know, you want to have some good food on your table. You want everybody to enjoy your food, so that's what you do. You make it nice and, and uh, you know, edible and delicious. I love good food. Child, I didn't get this way from looking at it. Let me tell you. I'm 188 pounds strong, all right? All right, now. Now, you see this? When I pick it up, look at that. There's cheese in there. You want cheese in every bite. You want to do that. Now, I, have enough, I think I have enough cheese in there. With my leftover cheese, I'll take it and do something else with it. I always find something else to do. Be creative. Think. Use your head for something other than a hat rack. Think about things, you know? You sit down and think about some stuff, you'd be surprised what comes to your mind. Especially with food. If you like food, you think of something. I ain't kidding. I'll put this in a salad. Shred it in some salad and stuff. It'll be good. Now, I got that like that, right? See that's patted down in there good? See how patted that's down? I pat it down real good. That's nice. It's not just sitting up. You don't want your macaroni to sit up. If you can't, if you've started to take a, you can take some out. It ain't gonna kill you. Take a few out if you think it's too much. You want it to lay down flat though. You really don't want you want it to lay down flat. Now, I took my butter already, and I already cut it up in pats. You see that? That's a pat. It's an old word for slicing. Pats. Put one in the center here. One on the end. On the ends. Like that. Yeah, see what I'm doing? 
I hope y'all looking at this. On the end, see that? Take another one. Take your hand and cut it that. One right there. A little piece right there. Take it in half. Put a piece right there. Another little piece right there. Now you're ready to go in the oven. Okay? We're going to set your oven at 400 degrees. It should be hot. 400 degrees. This is a small one. It should be over 40 minutes in the oven. I'm going to show you why, okay? All right, here we go. Okay, now, I've got the... In the oven, I have it in the oven, the macaroni and cheese. And you see it's starting to brown around the edges a little bit? Another 20 minutes tops and it'll be ready. Okay? Looking good, looking good. Okay, now it's been about 43 minutes. I took it out the oven and look at this nice and gold brown. Can you see it's still bubbling? Now I want you to see something. And when you take it out, I don't want you to be afraid. Say, oh, it's so loose. You see it's kind of loose? That's going to set the cheese and the egg is going to set that. What about a, about an hour? And it's going to be really delicious. It's going to be nice and creamy and fluffy and you're going to love it. That's it for now. I'm Elaine Penner, and I'm cooking. How you doing? Hi, guys. It's me again. I couldn't put this away without showing you how it looked after it's set. It's... Look at this. Look at that. Can you see that? Look at that. Nice and creamy. Nice and creamy. Nice and creamy. That is so good. That is so... Look at that. Nice and creamy. You see that? It's still hot. I didn't wait the full hour. Let it set. Because I have to take my granddaughter home. So I put it back in the oven uh, on a very low 170 and let it finish setting in the oven. But if you don't have, you know, if you have, if you're pressed for time, you can do that. Just don't have the oven up high. You don't want to brown anymore. But if you want to set it quick, turn the oven all the way down to about 170 and let it sit there for about, a, mm, about another hour or so and it'll set on its own and take it out and be ready. Okay? So you do that now. See that? My oven is going off. I took it out because I got to take my baby home. Anyway, I'll see you next time. I'm going to try to have something really special for as far as a cake is concerned. I'm going to try to do this. We'll see. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Bye-bye.